Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I am so so sorry if I've been gone for quite a while because I kind of lost my spunk. I've kind of lost motivation um, when it comes to recording but I actually have been editing a video but I kind of stopped editing it and I don't know, sometimes you just get those moments where you just kind of lose your mojo and then you kind of just don't want to do anything but lately I have been watching booktubers um, I discovered a booktuber named Brittany the Biblio Bibliophile she's so amazing and she's so pretty but on top of that she loves to read books just like I do so yeah that's one thing about me I love to read books and I'm sorry I kind of cleaned my house a little bit, but but I'm only showing you like the good parts of our apartment. But um, yes, so when I talk too much, I tend to, I can't breathe, so I kind of have to pause and then talk again. I have been watching her and she's so amazing. So I've been inspired by a lot of booktubers like Sasha Altberg. Um, read by Zoe and Brittany and I kind of just want to I want to have my own collection of books I actually have tons of books but they're in this container in our bedroom and well because I don't have any bookshelves to put them in like a nice bookshelf I mean that one kind of looks like a bookshelf over there but I want like a legit bookshelf to put my books in so I told my boyfriend that I want to purchase a bookshelf so I can start um, displaying my books on the bookshelf. So yeah, and so little by little as I'm doing my videos, I'm just realizing that I I want to be versatile. Like I just don't want to focus on like vlogging and stuff. I do want to make um, videos that pertains to reading or maybe working out. But that part is kind of difficult because I'm, I tend to be shy. I'm still shy when I record in public. And I really wouldn't know how to record myself at the gym because, you know, like I said, people do stare and I just, I don't know, it's just kind of awkward, but yeah. But do you guys like my hair? If you guys want me to do like a tutorial on how to curl your hair like this, I can do it for you guys. But let me know. But yeah, I've been kind of a... Ugh. Today, I'm going to take you guys to Barnes & Noble because I want to buy a book. I don't know yet. Um, I'm thinking of The Women in the Walls because I love mystery. I love like spooky books. Anything that has to do with mystery and like spooky or suspense or thrillers. I love, love, love those type of books. But also historical fiction books. I love those type of books. Like, I'm going to show you... Oh yeah, so <laughs> I have Outlander. I've seen the first, the second, and some of the th ep some episodes of the third season. I have not finished Outlander, and I have not finished the book. And I'm currently, <laughs> I. I'm currently reading another book. It's called The Women in the Window. This book reminds me of Disturbia. So I will let you guys know what happens in that book and um, maybe make a review about it. I don't know. I'm taking you guys with me to Barnes & Noble because I have been wanting to go to a bookstore because it's really not the same experience when you're purchasing books online like I know it's cheaper to buy books online but I want to support bookstore businesses because that's where the magic is because bookstores are just so magical and yeah so I'll see you guys there hey guys so welcome to my car I'm sorry if I'm I'm gonna be talking over my AC because it's like super hot in my car and <laughs> This is so ghetto. I put like a tape around my camera just so it won't fall because I'm going to be driving on the freeway, but um, tape. It's, this is so ghetto, but don't worry, I'm going to be by myself a camera mount 
for my car. So there's his car. Um, right there, and he's all looking, I think. Oh. Yep. Yep, he is looking at me. He is staring at me as he's driving by. He's probably like, why is she recording herself? I don't care, I'm a, I'm a vlogger. And you know what? I kind of want to make this like a full-time thing so please you guys if you guys find this interesting do share it do follow me on Instagram Instagram my name is um, Janine Johire and I can spell it out for you guys it's gonna be in the description box and um, I always do I always do include my uh, my snapchat but I'm not really active on snapchat I'm more active on Instagram so yeah I do apologize for the noise because um, I need to put my AC on full blast because I am sweating. I feel like my makeup is melting. So let's go. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to talk while driving, but you know what? I can multitask. This is totally fine. I am done this before so yes I want to keep making videos for you guys um, hopefully it's interesting for you guys <laughs> Hopefully I do come through with what I'm saying because <laughs> I tend to be inconsistent. But the thing with me is when I once I start something, I want to finish what I started. So. so I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna be purchasing more than one book um, if I do find something interesting. I don't really know what I'm gonna be expecting to. Fine, but we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna scour through the whole Barnes and Noble and see what I can find. Maybe purchase another bookmark because I definitely need another one because I only have one. <laughs> oh yes, and I sound really nasally because I got sick on 4th of July. A week before that, I actually recovered and then I got sick again. I don't know, I think something's going around. I don't know, but I've been congested for the last four weeks now and counting. I do not know what's wrong with me. Maybe my immune system is just so weak. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I just get sick like, just like that. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask. I'm trying to focus on you guys and I'm trying to focus on the road. Hopefully, focus on my fingers. I don't want to get into more accidents. I gone into stupid but minor but stupid accidents before and I am not planning on getting into another one because my insurance is just I mean my insurance is not that bad but no more of that so I wanted to be productive today since my boyfriend is at work and I'm just been home I've been watching YouTube like booktubers just to kind of see how they film themselves like how how to film like a like a book video but yes i'm just kind of gathering information and also because i enjoy watching booktubers i think they're very interesting because you learn about new books i'm just turning changing lanes safely uh yeah yeah what is this guy doing oh my god so yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this car vlog okay so i mean maybe i should start re stop recording because i really need to focus on the road because i'm gonna hit the freeway soon oh yeah yeah i'm like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my god i'm coming with the goodness i got this shit yeah i've been hard in the pain not a single assist i'm feeling like being not let me pick the picture i might need a bottle on the road is success Hey guys, so I made it safely to Barnes & Noble. It's pretty busy here. Um, the freeway was not that bad, but um, getting on the freeway, there was like so much traffic. So yes, we are here. So let's go. 
come, come on, let's go. Hey guys, so I did not end up recording at Barnes & Noble because there were too many people there wherever I go. I really tried looking for like a discreet spot at Barnes & Noble, but no, to, to no success. Um, I don't know if it's usually busy here. Um, it's the Barnes & Noble at Carson. But yeah, there was just so many people and I couldn't find a spot where I can record myself looking for books and stuff. But yes, um, so yeah girl got a bag of goodies in here. And I got myself a um, caramel macchiato because I got a dollar off for um, signing up for a membership. Oh my god, it's not even that hot. And I told her... <sighs> yes. Okay, so when I got in my car, I think this guy was recording me because when I approached my car, he was literally on his phone like this. He was on his phone like this, like facing down, looking at his phone. And then I had my sunscreen up on my car and then as I was taking it off, he was literally like this. And I'm like, what the f... Was he even recording me? Like, what the f... I don't know, it was just, it was just weird how he was just... Literally like straight up towards my direction, like... He better not have been recording me because um I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna fight. Y'all girl can fight. I swear. I don't start fights, but I finished them. Uh, anyways. So I was specifically looking for this book called The Women in the Walls. They didn't have it at Barnes and Noble, so I had to order it and they're gonna ship it to my house. So I ended up getting like three books and a bookmark and it's so cute I'm gonna I don't know if I should if I should do the haul here in my car or at my house because your girl is hungry like I haven't eaten anything actually no that's a lie I had a bagel and coffee this morning for breakfast but that's not enough and then I made myself a protein shake because you know I'm trying to I'm trying to get thick <laughs> It's even possible because I'm so petite, I swear. Uh, yeah, but um, you know, because I've been working out, been trying to get those gains, guys. So I'm hungry, I don't know. There's so many restaurants around here, but I don't know if I'm feeling them. Let me look for a place to eat and I'll be right back. Tell me money anything now. 30,000 feet up the water right next to the wing. Too high to hit a bird sing now. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going this is actually going to This is actually going to be the week after I went to Barnes and Noble. Um, I didn't really record, well I kind of did record like the day after I went to Barnes & Noble which, is, which was a Sunday but um, we had some things to do, it was my friend's birthday so we went to her birthday, um, it's like a birthday dinner and um, we went to Lala's which is an Argentinian restaurant, it was so good so I can show you a bit of um, footage of what we did So I'm 
not sure if this is a good lighting because <laughs> I can't find any other good spots in my apartment that has really good lighting. This is probably the best that I can do so I'm so sorry about the lighting if it's kind of dim. So like I said, I went to Barnes & Noble last Saturday and I have purchased, I want to say, I purchased four books in total and a bookmark so I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got from Barnes & Noble. So the first book that I purchased is this book called The Kings and Queens. A chronicle of history's most interesting monarchies and I love learning about monarchy. I love learning about um, the kings and queens in Europe and and all that type of history. I was actually obsessed with watching The Tudors. I don't know if you guys know about that show. It was on Netflix a few years back and it's about King Henry VIII. So it's about his life and what had happened during his time, all of these women that he married, but, um, Queen Catherine and all that. So after reading it, I can share with you guys what I've learned and stuff like that if you guys are interested. So yeah, I, I'm excited for this book. Is this better lighting? Because I think this is actually a better lighting than how I had set up my camera before. So we'll see how this goes. I think this is much, much better. So the second book that I got is this book called H2O by Virginia Bergen. And this book is about Ruby who lives in England. And apparently they learned that the rain has been infected by this bacteria. Whoever touches it gets infected. And so apparently there's no cure. On top of her surviving this catastrophic rain, she has to look for her father, which I'm not sure how they got separated throughout the story. Um, yeah, so I have yet to find that out, but apparently she's looking for her father and she's not entirely sure if he's still alive. So the third book that I got is this book called The Cellar by Natasha Preston and it's about this girl named Summer. She gets invited to a party by her friend and so she goes to the party by herself at night which I think it's kind of dumb. Why would you go to a party at night by yourself? But anyways. So she goes to this party that her friend is hosting and then she gets kidnapped by this man, this dark haired man that she has never met before and he calls her by this flower named Lily and so then she's like hell no, I'm not, I'm not Lily and my name is Summer and so then she gets kidnapped and she gets trapped in this cellar by this man later on she finds out that there are these three other girls in the cellar with her that she's not the only one and apparently this kidnapper names them by flowers so there is Rose Poppy, Violet, and Lily, which is Summer. And so then I guess I have to figure out how to get out and how to overcome this situation. I am really bad at explaining things, but I'm so sorry guys, I'm really trying my best. And last but not least, I got this book called Women in the Walls and it's it's like a horror um, story. Like I said, I love horror stories, I love scary reads because those are my favorites. Oh, it's pretty thin. So obviously it's going to be a quick read, but this is how it looks like. And it's only about, I want to say, yeah, like 260 to 70 pages. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it like hopefully in a day because <laughs> I haven't read in a long time. And so it kind of slowed down a bit. I'm not really a fast reader as I used to be. So this book is about this girl named Lucy. Lucy Acosta and she lives with her father in their estate mansion. She lives also with her aunt Margaret and her cousin Penelope. Later on in the story, her aunt Margaret disappeared in the forest and then her cousin Penelope started acting really strange and so then she was like, you know, what's going on so her cousin started acting strange and then Lucy starts hearing voices in the mansion and so later on Lucy finds out about the darkest secrets of the mansion and then secrets like impalements cooked human bodies and all that is just so creepy like I'm so excited I don't know if I should save it for October readathon but I don't know, knowing me, I will probably read it. Yeah, I'm so excited for this one. And also, I'm so sorry, so I got this bookmark and it's so cute. It shows you the map of the world. 
and there's a saying underneath it says wherever you go go with all your heart by confucius and i like it it's red i love the color red and it has this tassel i love bookmarks with tassels on him so nice look at that like look at this bead i don't know it's not really focusing so i am so sorry if i'm so 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 bad at explaining things hopefully as i do more and more videos about books and all that i would better myself with explaining because i think i really need to work on <laughs> explaining myself better uh thank you guys for watching i'm actually gonna vlog with my brother today i think i'm just gonna save this vlogging day for the next video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please do share like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thank you and goodbye